See that right there, guys? Okay. Oh, I need to give you some energy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at all those cheerleaders. They're disappointed. They should be. Everybody should be disappointed right here. You all should look at yourselves in the mirror. <laughs> you guys have no idea what's actually going on here right now. now. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. This is probably like, this is depressing, man. This is depressing. The NFL commentary hyping this guy up. Guys, how long have we seen this picture? Let me tell you something, how long we've seen this picture, okay? We've seen this picture over and over again in our lifetime, right? Now, it's not the fact that he's just a rookie, you know? The reason why are we being so critical, okay? okay let's be critical. We got to be critical, okay? There's literally 32 teams in the NFL. There are 32 teams, okay? This is why I've turned into the 32 team guy. i always be a Lions guy, you know? That's just who I am. I'll be a Lions guy. It's just like I like the Lions. For some reason, I like the Lions, okay? It's, uh, uh, if you, if you want to know something about it, uh, the reason I like the Lions, okay? Because cause everybody has their choices in life. The reason I like the Lions, okay? Okay, this is what there, there is some, there is some special place they have in my heart, especially with, uh, like to get somebody who likes to play football. I like to play football, guys. I don't like to watch it. But to get somebody to actually be like, you know, you know, to, to, to like a football team, that's why Lions have always had like a little place in my heart, you know. Um, you know, just like a, like, a, like a special moment of somebody's life. And then I have these guys. <laughs> man, look at those blockers, man. Like, man, that's, that, that's some sucky blockers, too. Uh, oh, dude, life is great, dude. Life is great. Like, what, what's great about life is when you show people the truth, you know? It, it, it's better when you show them the truth. Because then when they see the truth, then you're just like, yeah. Okay? So, 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 avoid everything out of your head. Take everything out of your head and try to make a, a vision for somebody to see, okay? Like an actual profitable, like, 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 like something that they can see in life, okay? And here's something you can see in life, all right? The Falcons had one good year. You know who's had one good year? Lions have had one good year. Almost like all these NFL teams. I'm going to start to tell you some stuff, okay? Like uh, Cowgirls, they had one good year, okay? Saints, they had one good year. NFL is very competitive, guys. Like everybody has like their little good year or whatever. But this right here, this is just hilarious. <laughs> this is funny. Do you know why this is funny? Let me tell you why this is funny. The Bengals, they, they've already put all their out resources, guys. When they went to the Super Bowl, that was their out resources. Joe Burrow decided to be a goof. But the, the Bengals, they put all their out resources. So, so and it's, I'm telling you, this is why we watch preseason. We watch everything. We try, we try to look at, if I could see every football game, if my eyes, you know, just if I could do all this, you know, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, so, so this is where it goes to. We've had the two running backs. We've had Gibbs and BJ. Who do you like so far? Who do you like? Oh, that's right. Do you like Johnson or do you like Gibbs? You like Gibbs. I like Gibbs too, you know, but like, uh, like, 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 like here's BJ Robinson forgetting how to turn his hips, right? See? Yeah. Forgetting how to turn his hips, forgetting how to be a ratty. But, uh, that, that's what it is. That visual presence and nobody wants to see. Nobody wants to see the visual presence. Cause if you look at the visual presence, then you get into the eyes, right? We get into the eyes of what's actually happening in the NFL. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So so that's what's happening in the NFL. We we get to see uh, a, a team putting in work. And it, it makes me a little frustrated, of course, because like like I'm I'm not changing my prediction on the Detroit Lions, you know. I'm not gonna change that they're gonna lose, you know. But they're going to be losers. I'm not changing that prediction. 
What I'm simply telling you, because because my fanboyism is gone and all that, all that fanboyism and all that stuff. But what I'm telling you right now is that we could be witnessing something something awesome. We we could be we could like that there might be some glimmer, some little hope that we are seeing the the lions actually do something. That they've actually done something. That they've that they've really learned their mistakes this time. And you know, the uh, to be fair, like if you were to like, uh, to, it's not just like talking about the lions. It's just like think about if you had an NFL team, right? Okay, you had your your NFL team, any NFL team you were supporting, and uh, I really do. I really hated uh, what Dan Campbell went through. I hated. I hated it so much because last year that was Dan Campbell's year to go to the playoffs. He didn't even have to like win the playoff games or that. It's just that he deserved to be in the playoffs. He did. He deserved to be there. And um, it was probably like it was for for every, for every like football fan. It was just like oh this is not fair, you know. It just it wasn't fair. Like he ended up having a winning season. And it's hilarious, too, because now you get to watch a whole TV show of Aaron Rodgers trying to prove himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> After he got swept by the Lions with no Tracy Walker. I tried to tell you. I'm not trying to say you like like as Lion fan or whatever. I tried to tell you no Tracy Walker. That's that's crazy, dude. That's like, like Tracy Walker is the Lions defense, dude. He is part of the Lions defense. So for him to be gone... It was it was one of the craziest things to see, you know, just to see the heart of the Lions to be like, oh, we may have lost Tracy Walker, but we're not going to go out here and have a losing season. No, we're going to have a winning season. And then this is what I mean, this commentator. So so that yeah, sorry, we had to get through all that. But look, look at this commentator now. This commentator is trying to hype. I tried to hype trash. It's creepy. It's creepy, dude. There are people literally who are making fantasies and trying to make fantasy picks for their teams. There are people that are that there are people trying to make money, you know? There's people working, there's people going to shifts and working and everything. And then I have this NFL commentator, and this is the reason why I've been so hard on these NFL commentators. It's like, gosh, check it, shut up! You know? I'm like, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, shut up! Oh, shut up. Shut up. Rich Eisen, I hope uh, before I go out on this video, right, I hope you get punished. I hope you get punished. I really do. Because you, you were talking about the Cowboys. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, you, you're entitled to have your opinion about the Cowboys, Rich Eisen. But it's not, it's not that. It's the fact that uh, you're all sports analysts, right? You keep talking about the Cowboys. There ain't like – there is, it's never like I, – I, I would – I would literally would. I take all the times recorded that people have talked about the Cowboys, and I would. I, I take it just to show you how dumb it is. Um, and I'm going to say something to you, okay? Not only did I see the Giants look like they're going to fight. You know who I think is going to fight you? Washington Commanders. And so help me that I want you to look next time, Rich Eisen, because I'm sure you have a family. I want you to like look at, at like a spiral, uh, spiral, <laughs> spiral, because I love the spiral thing. That I, the funny thing I say was spiral. I want you to look at like a little Skylander commander toy or like even Warhammer. No, I want you to look at like Warhammer card game, which is affordable, which is like, it's like, thank God there's an affordable card game. How about that one? I don't know. Affordable card game that people can sit down and enjoy and play a dang card game um, of, of strategy. But yeah, uh, anywho, 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 there's, th there's that, there's that. There you go, Mr. Rich Eisen. There you go. So, so, uh, uh, Giants and, uh, Commanders, if you're listening, I've given you hope. I've given, I don't know where it would go, you know. Um, I do want to say that the Giants, they, they look like they are interested in the hope I've given. Um, the Commanders, I've given you hope too, because, you know, I've shown off Sam Howe, right? So, so here we go. Here we go. Okay. 
okay, who cares if I like lose at the end of it all, you know, but I will tell you something. I will promise you something. You're a little precious Cowboys who, uh, guess what? Dak Prescott's not going to do anything because I've already been seeing what he's been trying to do. Let me tell you, let me tell you, if anything, I, I, I'm going to, how about I do this? Hey, hey, commanders, I, I can, I can, I can shoot a spirit up out of nothing. Hey, commanders, when, dude, when for you, right? When for you, not, not, not when, right? Cause, cause I've already said when for my lions, right? For you, commanders, come on, dude, let's keep this team. Let's keep this team name, commanders. And let's make sure that Rich Eisen cries. Let's make him cry. Let's make him cry. That's what's coming your way, Vach. That's what's coming your way, little Colin Cow Turd. That's what's coming all your ways for all the neglection that you do to people. That there are people that go out and they want to go out and work. So, so that. Is what I got to say. I'll give you motivation. Here's motivation. <laughs> Commanders, you have a chance. Just remember, who cares that your player got injured? You know what I'm saying, Commanders? Who cares? Tracy Walker was out for the season. Who cares? Who cares? Be that. Be that. Let them know. Let all of them know. Look at that 32-year-old old lineman. From uh, for the Dallas blocking for Dallas, get them commanders, and if you don't get to them, hot too, you know, like I spit hot too. <laughs> I spit on you, and you know, yeah, just deal with it, deal with it, because you know what? I'm gonna say something too. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm going to. F- so I'm going to say it. Even you, Pat McAfee, I know you. I know how you be. I know you'll be talking to these guys, right? Your little friends that you think are your friends, Rich Eisen. You know, these people that you think are your friends, right? But, you, you, you know, because you all just fall in line. You all fall in line. But I'm not going to fall in line. I'm going to be the one not to fall in line. I'm gonna, I, I can't even. Uh, hey, commanders, you've put so much time and effort into this defense. When this season begins... And when it begins, make sure that you come to play. 